Welcome back for another round of toy hunting at Toy Hio Toy Show. Um, this show is just so massive, I couldn't fit it all into one video. Uh, if you haven't seen my first video, don't worry. Uh, you can watch these in any order. It was just such a big, massive show. I couldn't fit it all into one video, so you know, why not have two videos full of great vintage and modern toys? The show was held Saturday, February 8th at 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. in Girard, Ohio at the Metroplex Expo Center. Uh, they do two a year, and this one is their February show. Uh, there'll be another one coming up here in June. This show just had such great Masters of the Universe figures. Right there, guys, you had a Mosquito. Uh, and I mean, for a figure as rare as Mosquito is and how popular he has become here, I mean, there is a bunch of them at the show, which is crazy. Great selection out there. It also had a great selection of Ninja Turtles, wrestlers, Star Wars, G.I. Joes, this, that, and the other thing. Whatever it may be, there really was a really decent selection of it out at the show. Here is a pretty cool piece, um, an in-box panache Voltron. I mean, those are just pretty cool. Probably should have zoomed in there a little bit, give you guys a better view. Uh, there's just so much stuff at this show I had to get around and check out. Uh, I kind of almost overlooked it a little bit at first. Here's something that seemed just a, just a little bit bonkers to me. Black Box Mando uh, for 70. Um, I don't know. I mean, I haven't kept track of the Black Box, but just for what the carbonized ones were selling for, seems kind of high. Uh, I don't know, though. The Mando craze is insane. So, you know, who knows? Uh, I don't think it's sold, though. Uh, if you got the Mando figure, you know, good job hunting that. Uh, I was finally able to track one down for myself. It's a great figure. Happy to add it to my collection. Uh, but, you know, I didn't have to pay, you know, $70 for it either. Here's my buddy Sean's booth. Uh, he always specializes in some, you know, more oddball stuff. He had some awesome gack right there. He also had some really cool Inhumanoids. Uh, Inhumanoids is just such an interesting line. Uh, if you've never checked it out, make sure you go look it up. The characters in that are just just weird. Uh, that big green guy you saw was Tendril. He's from that. Uh, he had a, a Manko from Tiger Shard, Scareglow in there. Uh, Sean really brought out a good variety of you know rare items out to the show and just some fun stuff to go see. Now you just saw that Scareglow, but what's crazy is that wasn't the only Scareglow. Uh, you know, keep watching, guys. We're gonna go toy hunt here. We're gonna find. Just a super nice scare glow uh, and just such an elusive figure to go find and to have two of them at the same show. Like I said, bonkers, man. Such a great show. The next Toy Ohio, guys, if you're checking this out and you go, wow, this is a fun show, I definitely want to be out there the next time they have it. That'll be June 20th, 2020, from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. in Girard, Ohio, at the Metroplex Expo Center. Uh, and that's right around the Youngstown area. So I hope you guys to see you there June 20th. If you got a toy itch that needs scratching, though, and you just can't wait until June 20th, my next show 
uh, and one that I cannot recommend enough. Like, this is one of the best shows in the state of Ohio, will be the Columbus Toy and Game Show, held March 22nd, 2020, from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. at the Ohio State Fairgrounds and Expo Center. Uh, that's put on by CTS Promotions. You can go to their website. I'll have that down in the description for you guys. Um, and then that'll just, it's just such a good show. It's hard to put into words. Um, that show makes this show look tiny, and this show is really massive, really good ties. Um, but the Columbus show is just absolutely bigger than this. Uh, it's so, it's such a good show. Easily the best show in the state of Ohio. One of the best shows in the country. Uh, if you've never been to a toy show, or if you're, you know, wondering, oh, uh, I don't know if I want to drive to Columbus. Uh, it's worth the drive. I know people that come to Columbus Toy Show from Tennessee, from Florida, from California even. I mean, it's such a good show. If you collect toys, uh, vintage and modern, no matter what it would be, uh, it's going to have some representation out at Columbus. Uh, it's such a great time. I hope to see you guys all there March 22nd. Hey, look, guys, it's Bob the Raptor out here at the toy show today. Hey, how's it going there, Ohio nerd? Guys, Bob the Raptor is a fellow YouTuber out here. He has his own channel, and he covers a variety of different content, and, uh, you know, sometimes you'll find him out at the toy shows as well. Yeah, nice to see you out here today. Nice to see you in person. Yeah, guys, so I'll put a link down in the description for Bob's channel. Make sure to go check it out. And thank you. So as you may have just met, or you might have known him before, there was a Bob the Raptor. Uh, Bob the Raptor is a YouTuber, just like I am. He's out, you know, sometimes at toy shows. Uh, his channel does a really, just a whole bunch of variety of stuff. Everything from food reviews to a toy stuff. Uh, you know, I'll have a card to that, and I'll have it down in the description. Make sure you go check out Bob. Tell him the Ohio Nerd sent you. This table here had some really quality stuff, uh, tons of great carded WWF figures as well as Kenner superpowers, uh, and even some video games and a few Ninja Turtles and a random Ghostbuster figures too. Um, that's the great thing about toy shows, you never know what you're going to find. Uh, you're going to find tables just full of dig bins, tables full of display cases full of stuff, or just like that, you know, really nice carded figures, you know, stacked up in cases right there just for you to go see. Uh, that's why I cannot recommend you guys get out and check toy shows enough. There's such a good time, you get to meet new friends, new people, uh, you get to see great toys and have a really good time in this hobby, uh, you know, that we all enjoy. If you could do me a big favor right now, take a moment and smash that subscribe button, hit like, and let me know what it is that you enjoy about toys. Your support makes this channel possible. It's why I go out there. I want to share with you what all there is to do out there in this world of toys, how much fun it can be out at the shows, meeting new people, seeing all these rare uh, and incredibly cool toys to check out. Uh, I want to share it with you so your support makes that possible. Thank you so much for taking a moment right now. Hit subscribe, like, and leaving a comment below. Here's a figure I had as a kid that I always enjoyed, Undercover Don. Uh, I got him at a garage sale, I think, so I almost picked up that card one, uh, but decided to pass just because this show had just so much stuff. Uh, you really had to get around and see it all before you could buy. Uh, and I wasn't even actually able to go around and get back to that piece. Uh, I was so busy at my table, and I was just so busy, you know, going around checking out everything there was to see at the show. 
here was a really cool piece to see. Uh, the Six Million Dollar Man, Bionic Bigfoot, by Kenner. Uh, you know, if you watched my other video, you heard about Fire Tuck and how Kenner reused the Gamorrean Guard mode uh, to make Fire Tuck. Uh, well, they actually reused the Bionic Bigfoot mold to make uh, Chewbacca's 12-inch figure for Star Wars. And then at this same table, two Kenner alien figures, the giant ones, such great pieces. Uh, all four of those pieces, so cool. This table here was set up by Smith Lord Creations and the fans strike back. Uh, you know I don't like Repo, it's not a secret, uh, I think it's really bad for the community. Well they actually make some pretty cool custom figures too, which I would highly recommend checking out. I'll put a link to them down in the description for this video and keep an eye out guys, we're going to be working together here for a little collaboration, show off some of their really cool customs that they make. Here's a table you've been waiting for. Absolutely great Master of the Universe figures. King Randor, Ninjor, Horde Trooper. I mean, it was full. And look at this Scareglow. I mean, it hadn't really de-yellowed. He stood up good. He was complete with his original cape and staff. He had the mini comic. I mean, that right there, guys, is a great piece, a true grail. Uh, and I hope whoever got that, uh, if he sold it, went to a good home because that is just such an awesome piece. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a great day and may the force be with you.